All right, YouTube, I had a uh, video request or uh, from somebody online that they wanted me to make a video on how to sync the iPod Touch to the computer with iKids. So, first thing here, take the cord that came with the iPod and put the long end into the bottom of the iPod, like so. Then take the other end, USB 2.0 and put it into an available USB port on the computer. Then open iTunes, as I've already waited for it to load here. Then over on the left, you're going to see library, store, and then devices. Under devices, you're going to see your iPod there, with the little picture of whatever iPod you have. When you click on that, if it's not already selected, you're going to have these tabs. Summary, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, photos, info, and applications. Depending on your iPod, those may be in a different order or may be altogether different. Under summary, we're going to see a picture of your iPod, what, whatever you've named it, if you have named it anything, the capacity, software, version, and then the serial number. Go to the other tabs and select what media you want to sync to it. Maybe you don't want to sync a certain album or a certain playlist. Go to movies. You maybe you want to put some movies on it. TV shows, podcasts, photos, info, and applications. Applications, I think this is only on the Touch and the iPhone, but I'm not totally sure. But anyways, check the box of whatever you want to sync to it. Obviously, first you want to have it under library. Back over to the left, you want to put it into iTunes. After you've selected what you wanted, go to summary, and then bot in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen, it will say sync, or right now it says apply for me, but I just synced mine. Um, and then you can go ahead and sync it. Up at the top, it's going to say backing up your iPod. You can cancel that by hitting the X, or you can let it do it. It just makes a backup of any media that's on your iPod or anything you're going to put on it. Might as well do it. It doesn't take that long. And then it will sync your digital media to the iPod. When that's done, depending on the iPod, you might want to eject it back over um, devices, when, it's, when it shows your iPod and the battery, there's an eject button. You can click that like I am right now, and then it, it uh, safely removes your iPod from the computer. At this point, you may now unplug the cord from the iPod and put the cord away, and now you have all the stuff on your iPod. So, thanks for watching, and uh, Dan, I hope that can help you. Thanks again.